very important question that a lot of people ask is, is traditional Chinese medicine scientific? Is it a pseudoscience? Is it some made up garbage that's closer to mysticism and religion than an actual medical science? Now, this is a really important question. Would you want to be going to see someone for a medical issue you need help with and you're not really sure if it's proven or if it works? I know for me, having gone through lifelong health issues, I wouldn't, especially when you're paying money and you're using this time. So in this video, let's discuss more. Hey, I'm Dr. Alex Hine, Chinese medicine doctor, author of the health book, Master of the Day, and herbal medicine specialist. So I've included two very important links for you beneath this video. The first link is if you want to become a patient of mine, either locally or via telemedicine virtually, the first link down there will give you info on my clinic. And the second link is for a free download for daily rituals that can potentially help you add 10 years to your life with traditional Chinese medicine. You can check those both out, the link below this video. So let's talk about this idea of traditional Chinese medicine being scientific or not. Science is based on a replicable, repeatable series of actions that leads to a consistent outcome. So in some ways, that's very, very clear. You know, in the case of gravity, for example, if you jump up every single time, you're going to come down. It's easy to understand the scientific method in those examples, but science also applies to things like weather or human physiology, which are far more complex. So you have weather, for example, we have some of the ways to study patterns of hurricanes and tsunamis and typhoons, but there are so many cultural jokes about how accurate weather men and weather women are, the meteorologists, that weather by itself, we can kind of predict in a general sense, but in many cases we can't. And the same is true in human physiology. Well, there are of course plenty of laws. There are obvious laws of nature, of science occurring in our body, but medicine is also infinitely complex, which is why there are certain things we have very, very clear clinical outcomes for. We can say this medication will have this result 92.5% of the time, but a lot of the times we cannot say that even with billions of dollars of research and the world's most brilliant people. So some things are easily explained in a linear, concrete method, while others are not, even though they loosely follow the same principles. Now, Chinese medicine is based on a really, really clear clinical method. Now, I'm going to go into this first and we'll discuss some of the objections in a sec, but what I mean is, for thousands of years, ancient physicians have documented what certain symptoms are of certain illnesses. They've documented what herbal formulas work to treat the specific cluster of symptoms. They've documented the exact dosage, the exact duration, common side effects, how to treat those side effects or prevent those side effects from happening. And we know from hundreds of millions of patients, and now there are thousands of, of clinical trials in China on Chinese herbs and acupuncture and things like that. There are more and more of great quality, but beyond the clinical experience of tens of thousands of physicians through millions, hundreds of millions of patients and thousands of years, Chinese medicine has a clear framework to describe this symptom, this cluster of symptoms, this pattern, use these formulas or this acupuncture approach. So if that is not a scientific method that consistently gets a repeatable result, then I'm not quite sure what the scientific method would be. Because to do that, for something to be scientific, it has to have a clear pattern that produces a clear outcome. And for a, a huge bulk of Chinese medicine, that exists undeniably. So honestly, I don't fully understand how you could practice medicine without a scientific method, right? If you did not know that certain symptoms needed to be treated with a certain clinical method or a certain methodology or a certain modality, how could you predictably treat illness? Right, So I understand if you have this presupposition that Chinese medicine is pseudoscience, then you would assume it would not have a clear clinical method. But it does and has for thousands of years. So my understanding of why so many people think Chinese medicine is pseudoscience is because I think that what the layperson assumes is Chinese medicine is the more esoteric side. Right? What are the channels of Chinese medicine? What is qi? Why are all these practitioners talking about energy? What energy? Why can't we measure or see the energy? And then you have individual practitioner bias. You have primarily in the United States, 
alternative medicine practitioners themselves tend to be very alternative. So they may be layering on their own personal beliefs of past life, karma, of crystals, of reincarnation, of what they think energy healing is. And I think that lends to another layer of complexity that's not inherent to Chinese medicine, but that seems very mystical and non-material and it seems pseudoscientific because those things are, I don't know that there's evidence of past lives. I don't know how we would <laughs> prove that. That would be pretty cool and compelling if we could. But you have the individual practitioner's beliefs and then you have often what you're taught in school and then what you're taught through a traditional mentor. You know, so to me, when I say these three signs in my abdominal diagnosis of a patient and these three clinical symptoms they're reporting to me often indicate this formula. And when I give that formula, 80, 90, 95% of people report improvement. And then a certain percentage, depending on the treatment course, say there's a resolution of the condition. I don't know anything that's personally more scientific following a repeatable path and process that leads to a certain clinical outcome that you can predict. And the best physicians, the best doctors can do that in Chinese medicine. You know, this is me sharing my own experience from the inside, where I view it as a very, very scientific method. And I understand that my view is definitely not the view of other practitioners, as well as it's not the view of the masses. So I figured I'd share my perspective on why I'm so in love with this. And I've, I've seen the power of it clinically so many times. Now, I hope that helps. Again, if you'd like to become a patient of mine, the first link below this video is the link to my clinic where you can either come see me in person or book an online telemedicine consult, as well as the other link below is for a free download for you for daily rituals that can help you add 10 years to your life with traditional Chinese medicine. So go ahead, check those out right below this video. But before you go, I've got two related videos on this topic right here.